everybody. Uh, welcome to the first of several Theater Bay Area Adjudicator tutorial videos. My name is Zach Goldberg. I'm the Marketing and Programs Associate here at TBA, uh, and I just wanted to create a few videos to show new adjudicators uh, and to maybe to remind old adjudicators how to use the website, how to reserve tickets, how to set up your account, uh, all those sorts of things. So uh, let's, get, let's get to it. It should be pretty quick and easy. Um, so I'm here in my web browser. I'm going to click up here, and I'm going to go to the TBA Awards site. That is awards.theaterbayarea.org. There we go. Okay, here we are. This is uh, what the TBA Awards website looks like. It's the basically the What's Playing page uh, on front, so you can see all the things that are listed as coming up um, over the next few days. Um, you can see a few other things. Here you see TBA Home. That goes to the TBA Home page. We're on the What's Playing page right now. This is the Submit a Production page if you're a producer and want to submit a show for the What's Playing page. This is the sort of about section for the TBA Awards if you have questions, but we need to log in. Um, so to log in, we're going to scroll down here on the right side of the page where you can see Awards Program Login right here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my login information. I made you know a fake account uh, so I could show people how this works. Um, so baggins.f, I typed in my password. I'm just going to click log in. All right, here we are. Now, uh, you may see that some new tabs appeared on the top of my page, right? So uh, the adjudicator tab is new. The productions tab is new um, because this is a, an adjudicator account. So there's a few things that I can do. <clears throat> um, so if this is your first time logging in, you know, take a look around. But the first thing you need to do to get started is to go over here to your adjudicator tab. So click. All right. And here's my adjudicator dashboard. Uh, it would normally say my uh, reservations and ballots and that sort of thing. And down here at the bottom is my city selection. Um, and so this is the first thing I need to do. And the reason I need, I need to do city selection is because I need to be able to tell the system where uh, in the area I'm able to travel in order to see productions. Um, so it, it happens like this. You, it'll ask you to select sort of a region, okay? Um, so I'm in San Francisco right now. Let's go with San Francisco. Then a county, then a city, um, and then you can hit save. And when you hit save, that city appears over here. And these are these are your locked cities. Um, so let's just add a few more places that um, I'm able to go to. This this process can be a little time consuming just because you need to um, add every single city individually. Um, just make sure that you catch everything that you're actually, you know, every city that you're actually able to travel to. So here we go. I'm going to stick with these three for now. Normally it would be great if you could get a big list because, you know, there's a lot of these small towns around that companies have venues there and you need to be able to travel there, etc. Um, I'm going to hit close locations now. This is super important. If you do not hit close locations, the system does not save this information and it won't actually use it. So close locations. Yes, 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 I agree. Okay. If you ever need to open your locations back up to unlock them, you can email uh, me. The email is awards dot, uh, sorry, awards at theaterbayarea.org. Um, so now we're going to go to, so we have these city selections now. And now the last thing I'm going to show you before this video is over is the productions page. So go over to the productions page, okay? <clears throat> and here is where we see all the productions that are part of the awards program. So up here we have active productions. All right, we'll scroll down and it shows you really everything that, whether or not it's actually playing, like running right now, these are things that you can reserve tickets to. Um, and then the completed productions were things late, uh, earlier in this season that you can still self-activate a ballot for, that you can still uh, put in a ballot for if you, if you like. Um, as you can see, pretty simple stuff. We have the name of the production the producer, the venue, the show dates, and then these two columns right here, one says ticket reservation, one says self-activation. We're going to get a little more into that later, but right now you, you've started the basic thing. I'm going to uh, end this video, and we're going to keep going with the next one.